While you're doing Web3 development or following my dev tutorial earlier, I suggested that you want to use faucets or testnet accounts, but I also want to show you another way, and that is to use the accounts that Ganache provide you with. So the first step is to have Ganache installed. Also goes without saying that you want to have MetaMask installed. So let me open up my browser, search for Ganache installation, and then click on the quick start, and just go ahead and install that. So if you're on a PC, it would ask you to install it on a PC, but if it detects that you're on a Linux, it will ask you to install it on a Linux, same for Mac. And then head over to metamask.io, make sure that you install Metamask as well on your browser. It has supports for Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna skip this step. But if you don't have that, make sure you install that and then create an account on Metamask. Once you've done the steps above, open up Ganache, and this should be the screen you see. So click on the quick start and you should see that there's accounts, blocks, transactions. What you really want is accounts. And Ganache by default create 10 dummy accounts for you. So these are all the 10 different accounts that they have for their own private keys. That's something that we're going to be using. And if you click on show keys, it gives you the private key. So what you want to do is to just copy this and put them somewhere. Store them somewhere, just copy and then say done. Then I want to shift your attention to the network ID and the RPC server. It's saying that it's listening here. It's actually at 127001, that's your local host, and at 8545, that's your port number. So if you're using an older version of Ganache, I believe it's 7545, but I think if you're looking watching this video in 2022, it should be 8545. This is the latest version, at least that's what uh, that, that's what I have here. So if, you, if this is not 8545, it's something else, you just change that accordingly. You can also head over to the settings and then click on the server and you will find a host name. This is your local host. If you don't make any changes, that should be that, the local host. 127001 and then there's a port number. Again, this is 8545 for me. It may be different for yours, but I believe it should be either 7545 or 8545. On a later version of Ganache, it should be 8545 and then there's a network ID. You don't have to make any changes to anything in here. Just note them somewhere because now we're gonna go back into the browser, add this onto our web free wallet. So MetaMask is gonna be able to recognize this server and listen to that connect with the Ganache chain on your computer. So now that you have MetaMask installed, click on MetaMask. Within this, there is the networks in here. You wanna say add network, right? So just create add network. So click on that. It will ask you to enter a few details here. So there's the network name. Here you just wanna give it a name that you can recognize or something you can easily identify with. You can call it localhost, you can call it Ganache Net, um, whatever you wanna call it, right? I could just maybe put localhost and I just want to say it's 8545. RPC URL, that's what you see on Ganache earlier. So I'm going to have HTTP and then localhost. Mine is 8545, so that's what I'm going to be entering. Okay, so it says that your, this URL is currently used by the localhost 8545 because I already have one. So let me go ahead and just delete that, kick that out, delete that. And now it's gone. So if you have that already, you want to just delete that. For the tutorial, I've done that already, but I've just kick that out and now um, allow me to create that again. So chain ID is just gonna be 1337. I believe it's kind of a meme. If you turn the letters upside down, it reads L-E-E-T, I think, lit. I think it's a, it's a meme. And it's currency symbol in here. I'm just gonna say it's if there is an optional field of block explorer URL, we don't have that. So we're just gonna say save. And now it's done. So now that you're connected to localhost 8545, you should see that your account have no if in here. So remember in step two, I've told you to copy the private keys. So that's what that's where it comes in here. So that's where it comes in handy. Just copy that again, say done. Get back to your browser. You could do it from this interface or you could do it from this interface. Uh, it's completely up to you, all right? But let's say you wanna do it from here. Then what you wanna do is to say, click on your profile and then say import account, not the create account, import account, all right? So click on that import account and select type. That's the private key, that's the JSON file. You want a private key. It asks you to enter your private key string here. This is what you copied, so just enter that. And in my case here, it says the account you're trying to import is a duplicate because I already have that account. So I'm just gonna copy another private key from account private key number two, from account number two. And I'm just gonna say, okay. And gonna paste a separate one. And I'm gonna say import. And now it's done, all right? So you should see now that you have account for, you can rename the account by just click, click on this and Click on account details and just give it a name so you can say Ganache 2. And I'm gonna just say yes. Save that. So now I have Ganache, I have Ganache 2. This, by the way, should be exactly the same as what you have in Ganache. So if you see this is 788, this is also 788. And I have 100 if left, I have 100 if left. So that, that should be exactly the same. And you can go ahead and import a few more. But now that you're done with doing that, go back to your DAP. So let's just play around for that and make sure that everything still works. When we run our dApp, you want to connect your local Ganache account to this Web3 wallet. So click on account, uh, connect 
and once you're in there you should see that it's connected you have 100 if it's not reflected here so let's refresh the page see that your balance it says it's a private network and 100 uh, if is what you have left and that's 37i62 if you compare that to ganache you see exactly the same 37162 and you have exactly 100 if so of course if we try and change that and go into a different account let's say moving to ring b ring b and you should see that this account have no balance on ring b because this account only exists on a local ganache chain it doesn't have any kind of ring b balance right so let's change that again one more time let's move this now to the first account and you should see that now we have 1.6 ring b that's our other, other accounts so that's how you actually manage different accounts and if you don't need the accounts anymore you can always delete them and to delete them all you need to do is to just click on this one and then from here click on remove account right before we do that though let's let's just try one more thing all right let's just say ring b let's go all the way back to this ganache chain 100 if get back here just make sure that everything still works and we did not have to change anything in our web3.js so our web3.js is still going to be able to retrieve the balance of our accounts regardless of it's whether it's a ring b net or whether it's a test net or whether it's the ethereum main net or whether it's just a local ganache chain now move that aside going back to your code so as we've seen from the earlier demo if you start your dev there should be no changes to your web3.js so web3.js import and then here's the given provider here's the fallback it says that if you can't find one try this one and then you load accounts all of the code is the same but you want to make sure that you test it anyway so testing web3.js and our dev front end isn't something that i've covered yet but i do have smart contract testing and brownie testing brownie coverage videos in the past that you can check out they cover brownie testing and the testing framework for your smart contract in a lot more details so make sure that you subscribe so that you'll be the first to know when the dev front end testing video is released see you in the next video